So let's take question 5. A. Given that sine y is equal to 5 over 13, where 0 degrees is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to 90 degrees, evaluate the fraction 3 cos y minus 2 sine y all divided by 6 tan y. So let's solve the A part first. So this is a problem on trigonometry and we are going to attempt this question. So from the question, we are given sine y. We are given sine y to be 5 over 13. So how do we evaluate this? Now, first of all, we need to understand that we are going to apply Sokatoa here. So we have SOH, which is the so part. We have Ka to be CAH and then Toa to be TOA. Now, let's try to use this to find cos Y and then tan Y. So given sine Y to be 5 over 13, it means that sine y is equal to we have opposite divided by hypotenuse and that's equal to 5 over 13. Now with this let's draw a right angled triangle. So we can have this to be the right angled triangle and then we have this to be the angle y. So opposite of this angle is this side, which is 5, and then the hypotenuse is 13. Now we are supposed to find the value of the adjacent side. So to do so, we are going to use Pythagoras theorem. So from Pythagoras theorem, from Pythagoras theorem, we know that the square of the opposite side plus the square of the adjacent side now let's call this x should be equal to the square of the hypotenuse now looking at this triangle you realize that this is a 5 12 13 triangle however let's solve for the value of x so we are going to have 5 squared to be 25 plus x squared equals 13 squared is 169. We transpose 25 to the right hand side. We have x squared equals 169 minus 25 and that is equal to 144. So we have x squared equals 144. We take the square root of both sides and then we have x to be equal to 12. So we have x to be 12, the adjacent to be 12. So let's continue with the rest of the solution. So in doing so, we can now figure out the values of cos y and then tan y. So we know cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. So we have the adjacent side to be 12 divided by the hypotenuse 13. So this is cos y and then for tan y that is given by opposite over adjacent. We have opposite to be 5 adjacent to be 12. Now let's evaluate this fraction. So we have 3 cos y minus 2 sin y all divided by 6 tan y. So that is equal to 3 times 12 over 13 minus 2 times 5 over 13 all divided by 6 times 5 over 12. So let's simplify this. So we are going to multiply 3 by 12 and that is 36. So we have 36 divided by 13 minus 2 times 5 is 10 
so 10 divided by 13 or divided by 6 goes here once 6 goes here 2 times so we have 5 over 2 let's further simplify so because at the numerator we have their denominators to be the same so we simply work on the numerator so 36 minus 10 is 26 so we have 26 divided by 13 divided by 5 over 2 now 26 divided by 13 is 2 because 13 goes here once 13 goes here two times so basically we are going to have 2 over 1 divided by 5 over 2 so you can basically multiply by the reciprocal of 5 over 2 which is 2 over 5 and you realize that this is equal to 4 over 5 so therefore you have your answer to be 4 over 5 or better still 0 0.8 so now let's move on to b so for b a number is chosen at random from the set of integers between 10 and then 30 inclusively now we are going to find the probability that the number chosen is a multiple of 3 or 4 so that is b let's try to solve b so first we are going to list down the elements in the sample space so we are told that a number is chosen at random from the set of integers between 10 and then 30 inclusively so starting from 10 we have 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 and 30 so these are the elements in the sample space now the number of elements in the sample space is equal to so basically we are going to count the elements we have in this set so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 so the element in this sample space is 21 now we are going to find the numbers which are thought of to be multiples of 3 and multiples of 4 so the set of multiples of 3 these are the elements in this set so multiples of 3 we have 12 15 18 21 24 27 30 and then the number of elements which are multiples of 3 are equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so we have seven elements which are multiples of 3 again we do same for multiple of 4 so we start with 12 16 20 24 28 so the number of elements which are multiples of 4 are 5 now at the same time you realize that we have numbers which fall in these two sets so we have 12 here we also have 12 here and then we have 24 we also have 24 now in probability since we have elements which fall in 
m of 3 and then m of 4 then we can create a new set for that and that will be multiple of 3 intersection multiple of 4 so multiple of 3 intersection multiple of 4 is made up of the element 12 and 24 12 and 24 and the number of these elements number of these elements they are 2 so if you want to find the probability that the number is a multiple of 3 or 4 then basically you are going to use the formula probability of the number chosen being a multiple of 3 multiple of 3 or a multiple of 4 so union multiple of 4 is equal to the probability that it is a multiple of 3 plus the probability that it is a multiple of 4 minus the probability that it is a multiple of 3 intersection multiple of 4 so the probability of the number being a multiple of 3 is we have probability of multiple of 3 to be equal to we have 7 over 21 probability that it is a multiple of 4 is going to be 5 over 21 and then the probability that it is a multiple of 3 I mean intersection multiple of 4 is going to be 2 over 21 so now let's put these values into this equation so we are going to have 7 over 21 plus 5 over 21 minus 2 over 21 now the denominator is the same so basically we add the numerator so 7 plus 5 is 12 12 minus 2 is 10 so we have this to be 10 over 21 therefore the probability that the number chosen is a multiple of 3 or a multiple of 4 is 10 over 21